YouTube, this is Manny B. You're watching Inspire You One. Today we have a lovely co-host today, Cindy. Say hello to the audience. Hi everyone, I'm Cindy. Today we're going to be talking about online schools. It's a definitely an interesting topic in that we have, you know, many, many people doing online education versus brick and mortar. So the question is, is it worth it? Is it good or bad? Exactly. A lot of students out there are ending up with 50,000, 60,000 debt going to colleges such as ITT Tech to Phoenix University. And they're ending up with menial jobs out there. And a lot of recruiters are looking at them as if it's a complete joke. What are some of your thoughts on this particular topic? Uh, yeah, so it's a shame. I mean, obviously the uh, intent is good. You know, a great pro-education for sure. Um, and, and so like, we want to get that further, further education. Um, but there are different ways to do it. And um, you know, definitely going the brick and mortar route, National Fiscal School, tends to be looked at a little better. So not to say an online degree is worthless, but uh, given how much it costs and the time you put in, right. it may not match up what you have put in versus an actual brick and mortar school. Maybe a bit more difficult to get into, but maybe worth it to try. Exactly. A lot of students out there are looking for the easy way out. Just go to a one year, two year type of private colleges and end up with some nice fancy degree. However, a lot of students are ending up with fifty, sixty thousand dollar debt. Student loans are sixteen dollars a month and they're not getting any type of jobs. These colleges promise them a career in IT or wherever it's supposed to be, but they end up with no jobs at all. Whatever they study is pretty much practically a useless. I almost got suckered into ITT Tech not too long ago, but after reading so many reviews and so many frustration of people, it's just madness how they bash the school, how they say they just pass anybody who's ready to pay a fee. It's just ridiculous. Whatever you learn is pretty much useless. And recruiters are just looking at these resumes with ITT Tech, DeVry, Phoenix University, and I just they want to just want to tear the paper apart or not even look at you. Yeah, yeah, I've definitely known um, recruiters and those kind of people who discuss this. So or just from personal experience. And and by the way, we're not talking the um, physical schools, uh, those great ones out there that happen to have online options. So I, I know people get masters from Cornell or that kind of thing, and, and there are people who want to do it um, in their spare time after their full time job in the evenings. So we're not talking about those kind of colleges, um, but more the purely online. That's only online. Those you want to kind of be aware of. So. Exactly. Education out there is definitely key to success in any type of industry. The problem is that education is not really taught properly in the university. They're not teaching us how to finance our money properly, how to be finance independent, and how to give us that right discipline in life. And that's why a lot of young men and women are failing these days. They go into these colleges, universities, get this fancy degree, but they don't know how to function at the end of the day. And I think that's why the education system is failing in America. They're leaving a debt in people's wallet, in their holes, and they're not able to success and succeed in life. Yeah. Uh, another thing is, um, you know, getting to some of those brick and mortar schools can be tougher. For sure, you have to take like GMAT or GRE. Um, it could be six months of studying or actual paying for classes to do that, but uh, it's so worth it. It takes more work to get in, but it, it's definitely worth it. So put in that hard work. And if you don't get in or you don't do so well on the test, it just may be an indicator that it's it's not for you. And it's not it's not a bad thing. We all have value. We all have different skills and strengths and weaknesses, but it'll be a good indicator if you should be going that route or not, or changing career paths or, or levels, that kind of thing. Absolutely. The best solution for this to dive into any type of career is definitely explore a little bit, mm -hmm. do some internship, talk to people that are in the career, just go out there a little bit and explore and see maybe if being a nurse is the right fit for you. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can start off as a pharmacy tech and see if you can learn the type of medicine or whatever it is. Maybe medicine isn't, or giving shots to people is not your ideal way of living. So explore the field a little bit, try to talk to people that are in the field, and look out for solution that's basically in your favor. Oh yeah, and uh, check out sites like US News Report uh, for like best colleges, research articles for what majors will help you the most and have the best um, you know, opportunities for success. So definitely do your research. Um, statistics are true, so you know that helps for sure. Absolutely, and maybe college is not the right thing for you. Maybe it might be a trade school. So there's definitely lots of ways to get success in this type of field. It's just not that you have a bachelor's degree you're going to make in this world. Maybe you have this trade skill and this experience and it's going to take you above water. So explore the field a little bit, think about it, and definitely talk to people that are in the field. With that said, I thank you for being part of Inspire Your Mind. Tell us more about our site. Oh yeah, inspireyourmind.org. Um, you know, sign up for the newsletter, post some comments. Well, you'll be welcomed. Once again, I want to thank you for being part of our show and have a lovely day.